Hi, everyone. I'm Allie Diamond, your new host, and this is ThreatWire for November 22nd, 2023, your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. Let's jump right into the news this week. We're not going to talk about the elephant in the room, but instead we will say this. Recently, ChatGPT enabled the ability for paying users to upload custom files, including code, to be run in a sandboxed environment. Prompt injection attacks are not new, so please don't go uploading important environment variables and secrets as files, even in messages, to your ChatGPT instance. Okay? Capiche? Capash. Moving on! Hackers reported themselves to the SEC? Imagine a world where you're a hacker. You've gotten so much data from a company to demand a pretty hefty ransom, and if they don't pay for that data, you're gonna go public. You reach out to start the extortion, and no response. What happens next? That's exactly what happened to hacker group AlphaV, or Black Cat, with Meridian Link. AlphaV, or Black Cat Group, managed to exfiltrate data and attempt to start communications with the Meridian Link company. They were looking to get a payout for their data with a 24-hour turnaround, but apparently Meridian Link hit them with a war offline. Once AlphaV added Meridian Link to their list of victims, Meridian Link patched the way that AlphaV used to get the data, but basically never acknowledged the group. So the group behind the data breach snitched. Technically, anyone can be a snitch. The SEC has a website that anyone can fill out reports for tips, complaints, and referrals. Except the regulations Alpha V was relying on in order to get Meridian Link in trouble do not go into effect until December 15th, 2023. So they got a little ahead of themselves. It's definitely a unique way to get the point across. And honestly, better luck next time, Alpha v. In a quick hardware stopover, on November 14th, Google released a blog post about their new hardware vulnerability named Reptar. Reptar, formerly known as CVE-2023-23583, affects Intel CPUs of both commercial and personal usages. It's a vulnerability that takes advantage of the fact that some CPUs fail to execute redundant operation prefixes as expected. When faced with those low-level operations in practice, the CPU can enter a so-called glitch state, leading to unpredictable consequences. They theorize that this can cause virtual environment host machines to crash, leading to a denial of service or a DOS attack, as well as enable privilege escalation and information leakage. The team at Google responsibly disclosed the vulnerability to Intel, working closely to find a solution. A patch has already been rolled out and is available for download. If your computer uses an Intel chip, make sure you install any available updates today. Since the dawn of time, the green bubble versus blue bubble text battle has plagued mobile users. There was a promised end in sight with the new Nothing Chat application, but that was cut real short, really fast. Sunbird, the company behind the promised solution, released a chat application on November 18th in tandem with releasing the Nothing Chat app, read a rescan. For Nothing, the company behind the eponymous phone, a Y2K translucent inspired iteration of an Android based mobile device. Sunbird promised an end to end encrypted application that enables iPhone message capabilities on Android phones. Yes, even the blue bubbles. But when I say it got cut short, I mean, it really did. The app was exclusively available for 24 hours before getting pulled down from the Google Play Store as the public eye began to find every flaw and every vulnerability with the application. Text.com, an all-in-one messaging solution, was fast to report gaping security vulnerabilities in this application, starting from the top with credentials being sent over HTTP and not HTTPS, and ending with messages, photos, and videos being stored unencrypted in Sentry, an observability platform. The Jenga pieces just kept falling until eventually they were all down, so they had to take the app down too. Nothing, the larger of the two companies, published a statement in response saying that bugs were found and that the Nothing Chat application has been delayed indefinitely. Android users, if you downloaded the app and were using it, please change your iCloud password and operate under the assumption that everything you have shared through that app is compromised because at some point it probably will be. And with that, I'd like to remind you that you can support this ad-free show and get some awesome perks over at patreon.com slash threatwire. This is now the place to get all of the awesome Hack 5 perks. Thanks so much, and we couldn't do the show without you. And as a reminder, you can join my research and writing session every Monday, linked below. In addition, I'll be hosting a live Q&A on my Twitch and on the Hack 5 YouTube channel next week on November 30th. So if you want to get to know me better, be sure to stop by. Until next time, I'm Allie Diamond, at Ending with Allie everywhere online. Good luck.
have fun, and don't get caught. Hehehehe <laughs>